first pick. Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, give me a second here. I'm going to do a Hearth Arena draft here. Excuse me. Let's go with Flame Leviathan and Gazlo and Baron Geddon. Baron Geddon is uh, Baron Geddon is the heavy favorite. <coughs> Tier score eighty four. Well. Nope. Uh, I'm thinking here we're going to be picking a, a Mage Worm, uh, a Mana Worm, I mean, because what else would you pick? Mana Worm, 63%. And then, uh, I'm seeing Arcane Missile, maybe Gorobashi Berserker. I would pick Arcane Missile to go with my Mana Worm. Uh, let's see what Hearthhead tells us. Arcane Missile and Gufubashi Berserker. Uh, wow, much closer than I would have thought. Uh, Gufubashi Berserker, purely by the tier list. We have. 48, 51, and 49. Uh, we will follow what Hartnett says. <sighs> Sorry, a little disgusting. Uh, ooze, Junkbot, and Doomsayer. I'm going to say that Echoing Ooze, although there's no way to buff him at all in, in Mage. Um which kind of blows. Um, I would go for Junkbot as my second pick. I'd actually go for Junkbot as my first pick. But Hearthhead is going to tell me to go for the Echoing Ooze. Uh, yep. 44.84 for the Echoing Ooze. So, go for that. Uh, I'm thinking Chill and Yeti. Probably the... Uh, first pick. In fact, I know it's going to be the first pick. It's one of their highest uh, one of their highest rated things. Uh, tier score, 74. Joe and Yeti. Kind of what I thought. And then Tidehunter or Flying Machine? I would think that they can tell me to pick the Murloc Tidehunter. Um, uh, flying machine. Uh, Murloc Tide Hunter, forty three point eight. Told you. Kona Cold, Archmage, Water Elemental. I love Kona Cold, but I do know that the Water Elemental is actually the uh, the pick here. So we're going to make sure that I'm not a moron and ask uh, uh, 
and ask uh, Hartharino. It's not even close. 79.73 for the water elemental. Just as I knew, those things are freaking so annoying. These guys love Gilblin stalkers. They always take them. So I'm guessing they're going to tell me to go for the Giblin. Um, Jungle Panther. I'm sure it's not bad. Bloodsail Raiders. Really not good in Mage. Uh, Gilblin Stalker. Jungle Panther is almost as high. These are all pretty good picks. They still agree Gilblin Stalker. Uh, I'm thinking they're going to tell me to go for the Bloodfen Raptor here. Just a solid two drop. And you know, when I say when I say they're going to tell me, I know that what I mean by that is is that I have learned what are good cards because they tell me they're good cards. Um, wow. They really like the Stranglethorn Tiger. Cool. More fatties for me. I love that idea. Um, Ancient Watcher, Blizzard, and Goblin Sapper. Um, I am pretty sure that Blizzard is the correct play here. We're starting to get a little high on, <sighs> on casting cost. I really need to get some more food into me. I am just not feeling as well as I could. Uh, Blizzard. Really good card. Uh, I would think that they're going to tell me to take the Harvest Golem. Uh, could be a Puddle Stomper because we really need a 2-drop. Let's see if I can get an Education. I'm thinking Harvest Golem is what I should pick, and I'm correct. Uh, oh, it loves me some Black Ring Corruptors. Um, I would think the pick here is Frostwolf Warlord. Yeah. Frostwolf Warlord. 59. Flame Strike. Do I need to put anything in? Pretty sure that Antique Healbot and Wolf Rider are not going to be competing with Flame Strike. Flame Strike. 84.4. Uh, Ironforged Rifleman, Snow Chugger, Nubar Weblord, Snow Chugger. Don't really need a whole lot of help with this. Snow Chugger it is. Corhound, Cultmaster, or Mogadishu Warlord. Uh, even though the Cultmaster has been crap for me in the last draft because I can never seem to get it on the board with Ugh. Daddy's Coffee's kicking in. I gotta take a quick break. I know they're going to tell me to take Cultmaster, and they do. Let's mull over what we got next. Yay, another Flame Strike.
I'm thinking flesh eating ghoul. I would probably take the Draconid Crusher just because I'm bad like that. Um. Wow. They're going with Draconid Crusher too. Good. One I wanted to pick. Magma Ranger, Arcane Explosion, or Mogadishu Warlord. These are all terrible. I'm gonna I I think I would go with Arcane Explosion. Maybe the taunt would be good. I I don't know. It's a good thing that uh, it's a good thing that Hearth Arena here is is here to tell me which of these horrible cards I should take. Uh, Arcane Explosion. I'm fine with it. Yay, a Fireball. I was going to say, you know, this deck is not, not nearly broken enough. A 94.77. And yay! Uh, another epic card. We are actually going to have a pretty good arena run, hopefully. Um, Pilot Sky Golem. I know Keith swears by Echo of Medvi, but I am uh, I love me some Pilot and Sky Golem. Bloodfen Raptor is great. Mirror Image is great. Arcane Intellect is great. Let's see if they can tell me what I'm supposed to be picking here. I would probably go for the Mirror Image. I would probably go for the Bloodfen Raptor is what I would do. No, not Bloodfin Reader. Dummy. Mirror image. And Arcane Intellect. 65. <sighs> okay. I guess I do have a lot more two drops than I realized. I've got a Mana Worm, an Echoing Ooze, a Gilbin Stalker, a Murloc Tidehunter, and a Snow Chugger. I really don't need the Bloodfin Raptor. Okay. I came into like it is. And a Polymorph. Yay! This deck is rocking out. Yeah, you know, this is the time when we're going to get mana screwed, right? Um, let's see. Polymorph, 89.5. More good cards. Uh, I would go with uh, Spider Tank. Clockwork Gnome. Um, Spider Tank. And Cult Master. I would go with Spider Tank. Wow, 93.13, the overwhelming favorite. Uh, I would go with another Gurubashi Berserker, to be honest. Archmage is okay, but I've already got a bunch of... You know, probably tell me to go for Undertaker, because I don't have any 1-drops. I have one 1-drop. One
Uh, I'm going to stick by the fact that I think they're going to, I think Gurubashi Berserker. What would I take? Yeah, Gurubashi Berserker is what I would take. Uh, and they're telling me the Archmage is better. Normally this would be a toss-up between Gurubashi Berserker and Archmage, so we don't want to end up with too many Gurubashi Berserkers, and we really don't want too many late-game drops. On top of that, Archmage could fit in our Attrition deck. Archmage has synergy with the deck, and we need a big drop. Oh, I suggest you pick Archmage. Okay. I'm totally fine with that. A flame Cannon. Yeah, baby! Loves me some Flame Cannon. Morgan Infiltrator and Cult Master. They keep throwing the Cult Masters at me. Flame Cannon 90.92. Five left. Come on, give me broken stuff. Haunted Creeper is good. Priestess of a Loon is. Eh. Elven Archer is meh. I would go for Haunted Creeper here. You know, I find that part of the problem is the fact that I pay too much attention to what is going on over here and not enough attention to what's going on right in front of me, looking over what I've got left. Um, Haunted Creeper, 66. Priestess of a Loon is only 11.97. Yay. So they agreed with me, Haunted Creeper. Or I guess I should say I agreed with them. Uh, this, to me, is easily a Fen Creeper. The Ice Lance, I consider crap. Fen Creeper has been fantastic for me in Ariba in Arena. And I'm correct. Yay. I like being correct. Still need some more bro broken stuff. This is not broken stuff. These are all crap. I'm gonna have to go for the stone skin gargoyle. Because sh these are all terrible cards. Ice Lance, 25. Stone Skin Garbo, 4.79. That's one of the worst I've ever seen. Oh, it's got synergy with Blizzard, Snow Chugger, Water Elemental, Mana Worm, and Draconid Crusher. Not sure how it has synergy with Draconid Crusher, but sure. Another Ice Lance. Wow, they really want me to have some Ice Lances. At least I get another Water Elemental. Blood Sail Raider, really not good. Water Elemental, definitely good. And Ice Lance, definitely not taking any more Ice Lance. 105, yeah, baby. Um, hmm. Definitely Shade, definitely Shade. I don't really like the Giants. I know everybody swears by them. I do not like them. Good. 28. Shade of Next Year. Synergies? Draconid Crusher. Yeah, because it beats your opponent down. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good draft, I'd say. Um, I need to go uh, move my watering, and then I'm going to go lie in bed with my wife for a little while. So I'll see you guys later. Oops, I'm going to need to...